Good evening. What's going on there, folks? It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, on this uh, beautiful Monday evening, September 13th, 2021. Here along the west coast, anyway, it's 11.04. Areas uh, to the east, of course, the next day, right? September 14th. 5.2 earthquake striking way up into northern, well, it looks like right around central Alaska region. A little larger earthquake for that region let's go ahead and check out some uh, activity here on the usgs map see what's going on up here in alaska well north of the uh, plate boundary of the pacific north american plate into an area well just outside of fairbanks looks like uh about 3.1 kilometers below surface that's pretty uh shallow earthquake looking at uh prior quakes when the, within this region uh, a little bit of movement down here to the southwest, but uh, this earthquake specifically uh, looks like about, uh, what do we got here? Maybe about 50 miles, 40 miles from Fairbanks to see uh, if anybody reported filling that earthquake. Looks like quite a few folks did on the Did You Fill It report responses from the USGS folks here. Uh, in fact, it looks like Fairbanks, quite a few responses from Fairbanks filling this uh this 5.2 if you were up there and well actually got downgraded to 0.9 but uh, still kind of curious if you were up there if you're up there in the Alaska region and you felt this earthquake let me know in the uh, comment section below that way I can uh, do a little research on it uh, kind of just explain what you may have felt if it's a uh, rocking and rolling or a slow motion type deal or a wavy motion or a jolt let me know if you felt it. Uh, let's see if the waveforms are over here. Uh, where'd the waveforms go to? Uh, oh, hold on a second here. See if we got anything kicking up. Kind of curious to see what the uh, seismograph may have looked like with the, uh, oh, you son of a gun. Let's check this other one. There it is. There is the uh, 4.9. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, pretty good jolt. Looks like. Not too drawn out. Just kind of like a quick jolt. It looks like. So we'll see uh, what the responses are when it comes to uh, viewer um, responses. In this area, let's go ahead and see what we got here as far as historical earthquake activity. I just don't see too much in this area of Alaska, but looking at the historical seismic activity, at least until about 1900 or so, around this epicenter, specifically none right next to it, although areas to the north and uh, well to the south here seen some uh, larger quakes. Looks like a 5 to 6.0 up to the north, 6.0 to 7.0 down to the south. And of course, uh, some deeper ones over here to the southwest in the areas along this mountain range. Very capable of producing uh, uh, some good sized quakes, it looks like, in that area. So yeah, got downgraded from 5.2 to 4.9. Still, that's kind of a, kind of a, a little shaker just outside of Fairbanks. Let me know what you guys may have felt. Looking at the rest of the globe here, the Pacific Ring of Fire looks pretty quiet outside of Japan, except for this 5.8 that struck earlier, way earlier this afternoon. Um, about 368 kilometers below the surface. Pretty deep movement in this area, just south of uh, Japan, south of Tokyo. The rest of the Pacific Plate and the trench looks pretty quiet over the last 24. Some minimal activity throughout the Fijian uh, Vanu uh, Vanuatu region and Papua New Guinea area as well. Some deep earthquakes in the Fiji Islands that uh, struck today, 4.6, 4.5. This one here almost 600 kilometers right smack dab here in this bin. This, this little tight area is about where it gets the deepest. We get deep earthquake activity over here, but it just seems like right here in this region, we see five, sometimes uh, uh, 600 kilometer or more deep earthquakes in this area. So 
So yeah, pretty uh, pretty crazy activity uh, taking place. Some movement here in Hawaii. A little bit of uptick in earthquake activity outside of Mauna Loa, and a quake, a Rug quake, way over here, off the coast of the northwest part of the Big Island. And this earthquake is super deep. 123 kilometers for this 2.8. Kind of curious to see if this has been reviewed. It's automatic, so good possibility this may get uh, revised as far as the depth goes for this earthquake. It's just uh, awfully deep here for this area. Just haven't really seen that deep of movement. Um, down here around the Lohi Seamount, the underwater volcano, just to the north, seen some movement take place down there about 33 kilometers and also activity around Mauna Loa picking up. Gonna watch that uh, pretty closely here, see if this thing really uh, ramps up or not. But for now, just a few earthquakes popping up around that region. Pacific Northwest train a uh, uh, trail of activity into the Cascades and also into Northern California there at the uh, uh, Northern Sierra Nevadas and also around Redding up around Mount Shasta as well. Let's go ahead and check out some movement. Look at this earthquake off the coast of Oregon right here. 1.6 near Rockaway Beach, Oregon. Beautiful area up and down the coast, but deadly, deadly uh, when it comes to the potential for a mega quake and tsunami. 19.8 kilometers into the Cascadia zone. Haven't seen a whole lot of movement out here off the coast, so we're watching that. There's that trail of activity, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Mount Rainier, and a <laughs> little earthquake activity, Washington. Okay, Washington. 18.6 kilometers uh, just outside of North Bend, it looks like. And also a little, little activity up here outside of Seattle, pretty deep movement near Edison, 17 kilometers below the surface. Uh, there is the movement outside of Redding into the Sierra Nevadas, north of uh, right around the Chester area, and also one quake outside of uh, Mount Lassen, a little microquake, 1.2 uh, kilometers. What else we got into the California area? <clears throat> Diminishing activity around the geyser activity, a little bit of movement uh, north of Ukiah. Also some activity still in the Antelope Valley area of Northern California at the Eastern Crest. And uh, some activity just outside of Long Valley Super Volcano, a little cluster of quakes near Yosemite kicking off. 13 kilometers, pretty deep movement here in this area. Uh, for some of those earthquakes. Ridgecrest, seen some uh, continued aftershock activity. We did have some movement right around the uh, Southern California area near Thousand Oaks. This is in the red, a 3.6, just due to the, uh, well, the responses from all the folks reported this, uh, reporting this earthquake. I mean, look at that, 150 responses. Uh, and that's only for a three-pointer. Felt uh, pretty much mostly around the region there, 20 to kilometer, uh, about 20 kilometers or so out, maybe possibly more. Here is the shake map, just shows generally light shaking around the uh, uh, Southern California area, greater Los Angeles area as well, from that uh, 3.6 earthquake that struck really shallow. This is a really shallow earthquake at two kilometers, so no doubt uh, the uh, felt responses are much broader compared to a deeper earthquake. Uh, let's see what else we got here in the Southern Cal. Looks like there was a little aftershock right around uh, about an hour or so later. Far as the general fault system here in this area, uh, looks like Simi Santa Rosa section. Little I don't know if this is, is a, th I think this is a thrust fault here within this region. Not for sure the specific dynamics of the uh, potential for a larger quake on this little fault system, but uh, uh, this kind of looks like where this uh, 3.6 struck just off of it, uh, just like just under a mile or so within that uh, fault area. Down here to the south, some uptick and movement around the San Jacinto Fault area, a little earthquake within the last hour, right around the southern Salton Sea area. Uh, let's see what else we got here. There's that swarm of activity there in, in Utah once again, right up against the uh, 
Uh, what do we got there? Milford? Milford, Utah. Some pretty uh, shallow earthquake activity and some microquakes. Uh, let's see, what do we got out here in Colorado? 3.8 in Colorado. Let's see, what do we got? A few folks did report feeling that earthquake out there. Looks like somebody in the rocking chair maybe experienced a little bit more shaking compared to the rest of the folks. With some moderate reported uh, shaking going on there around the epicenter. Mostly around Springfield, it uh, looks like uh, 19 responses, about 22 kilometers from the epicenter for that earthquake. Not uncommon, folks. We do see some earthquake activity out there for sure. Oklahoma, some fracking operation uh, and some query blast, it looks like. Query blast. Pecos, Texas, only one earthquake. Minotone, 2.7. Uh, New Madrid looks pretty quiet, and the eastern part of the country looks quiet as well. Uh, what else we got down here in South America? Puerto Rico, pretty quiet. Um, just a few quakes uh, around the Puerto Rico area specifically. Although if you look up here, ways away, about 50 to 100 miles away towards the Puerto Rico Trench. This is something we're kind of watching. This area right here, very possible at producing a mega quake. Uh, looks like 4.3 so far, the largest in this cluster of quakes at a fairly deep level. So just be on guard here in the Puerto Rico area, Puerto Rico Trench, no joke uh, in the uh, significance of producing a large quake. Movement up and down the uh, Peru-Chile Trench into South America. Quite a bit of deep earthquake activity, including a 4.4 near Peru. Uh, 211 kilometers below surface. In the South Sandwich Islands area, just a little, well, two earthquakes, low five pointers. Still deep though, 35 kilometers for about both of those earthquakes in that region. So quite a bit of movement down here towards the South Puerto Rico area. All this activity kind of shuffling the plates around. Um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty interesting day. Over here around the east, or the uh, Middle East, pretty quiet. A little earthquake in the Greece area, 4.1. And a 4.3 in uh, Taj Tajikistan. That one's pretty deep. 105 kilometers for that earthquake. What else we got here? Yellowstone National Park. Let's check out any type of uh, trimmer. Or not trimmer, but... Uh, Quakeage? I don't see any. It looks pretty quiet. It looks very quiet for right now. Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer along the Pacific Northwest. See, this blows me away. All this earthquake activity that we're seeing along the Cascades and, and um, earthquake activity off the coast of Oregon. Something's up here. I don't think this is accurate. I wonder if... Uh, let me check out the old trimmer map. I wonder if that's even active yet. Yeah, even this one's still showing zero. It's just very odd, folks. Very odd. This is like day number four or five with no trimmer. What's going on, man? I might have to access the raw data somehow. Because it's awfully quiet. I don't think it's that quiet over there. So, what else we got here, folks? Solar weather. Let's go ahead and check this out here real quick. Now we got these sunspots kind of turning away from us. Behind that, very quiet activity. A coronal hole up here to the north not affecting us. Looks like quiet conditions prevail, uh, at least for the coming days. Dimin diminishing threats of solar flares. Only a 30% chance of sea flare activity. Geomagnetic disturbances uh, in the field. And the auroras look pretty quiet for now. Uh, yeah, very low levels, folks. <clears throat> going to be sun spotless here pretty soon. Uh, what else we got here? Let's go ahead and check out just a couple of images here uh, while we're at it. Peter uh, sitting in this beautiful image um, of Mount Rainier. Absolutely awesome image here, Peter. I do appreciate that uh, image being sent in. Also an image um, of sunrise in the Florida. I don't, I'm not for sure why that got cut off there, Florida. But Dean, thanks for sending in that beautiful shot of the sunrise. And uh, some beautiful, awesome colors along with the uh, clouds in the, uh, in the atmosphere. They're beautiful. And what else we got here? Well, I think that was it. 
only added two on there. Gonna try and do a little bit more uh, tomorrow, folks. Just been uh, yep. pretty busy again. Just be another busy day. Really busy. Uh, if you do want to be featured, folks, on the uh, update video, please send in your photos to earthmastermail at gmail.com. That is the e email address. Um, and I will definitely try to get those on. Still trying to catch up on a few. Um, but uh, definitely send those in. I love seeing all those images that you guys are sending in. So please send them in. Earthmastermail at gmail.com. Just tell me where you took them at, location, uh, the date, and basically what I'm looking at. And uh, that'd be cool. We'll get them up here on the update video. Have a good night, folks. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there and be observant. Peace out.